This week we're learning about lucky number 13. Wait, what? Welcome to Jewish Music Toronto, I am Ellie. Remember that all of our lesson and sing-along videos are closed captioned, so if you want to follow along, all you have to do is click the CC button at the bottom of the YouTube player. Well, you've asked and I've listened. Recently, I've received quite a few requests to do more liturgical prayer type songs and chants for you, and I'm more than happy to oblige. So this week, we're learning a song that can start your day, assuming you were to choose to include it as part of your daily prayer routine. More commonly though, it concludes the evening prayer services on Shabbat and holidays, sometimes trading off places with the Don Alam. It's Yigdal or Yigdal Elohim Chai, Exalted or Exalted is the Living God. God. In an effort to continue to make things easier for you, I've brought back the quick links from our last lessons. You can click any one of the links here to skip to your point of interest. Don't worry, I'll leave the window open so you can come back. As always, we'll go over some of the background on the song, learn a tad about its author and composer, and finally get into the lyrics before learning the melody. First up, background. Yigdal is a summarized version of the Ramban, or Maimonides, 13 Principles of Jewish Faith. The list of 13 principles covers everything from the basic belief in God and that there is only one God, to the belief in the eventual coming of the Mashiach, or the Messiah, and the eventual resurrection of the dead. The list was one to which the Rambam controversially proclaimed all Jews must adhere to even be considered as being Jewish. Actually what he said was a tad more controversial than that, just take a look at the link below later. As I mentioned earlier, Yigdal can be a part of your daily morning routine, as it's part of the morning blessings immediately following Matavu and Adon Olam. Of course, as I recently learned during a rabbi's Q&A in my shul, if you didn't grow up going to a religious elementary school that had prayers as part of its daily routine, or perhaps if delving into prayers just happens to be a more recent endeavor for you, it's possible that that is something of which you are unaware. As the person who asked the related question pointed out, the person who who leads the morning services only begins with the final set of the morning blessings. He had a point when asking why that is, especially considering that it's not just these songs that appear before the final set, but some integral daily blessings as well, like the blessings related to living by and learning the ways of the Torah. Having only become more active in prayer in recent years, he was surprised when during an earlier lecture, he learned about those songs and blessings appearing before the final set. That's not to say that he never noticed them, he just never realized their importance as in most if not all shuls, they are excluded from the morning services. Either way, if you want to sing them, they're there near the beginning of the Siddur. As for how to sing Yigdal, it's typically done in a responsive fashion, with the Chazan singing one line, followed by the congregation singing the next. Oh, there is one other potential reason that you may have never seen Yigdal before, and it depends on your background. People who follow the teachings of Rav Yitzchak Luria may have not been exposed to the song because the Orizal, as he was known, was either against more modern piyotim being being added to the prayer services, or because the defining and declaration of a set of principles could appear to place greater significance to this set over other parts of Judaism. As such, Hisidor doesn't include it. Resource links below, of course. And now, the author. Based on everything we've learned up to this point, it's pretty obvious who the author is. It's the Rambam, right? Mm, not so fast. Sure, the 13 principles on which the song is based were written by the Rambam, but Yigdal is a summarized, songified, songified not that, songified version of those principles. At best, he'd get an inspired by or writing credit. In reality, the song's authorship has been debated since the mid-1800s, with Jewish studies scholars from the time presenting their own cases, saying that it was either written by the 14th century poet Daniel ben Yehuda Dayan, or by the 13th century scholar and poet Emmanuel of Rome. In fact, in his final book, Literary History of Synagogue Poetry, Leopold Zuntz, called the founder of the modern science of Judaism, according to the Jewish Encyclopedia, wrote that Dayan was the author of the song, but that he borrowed individual expressions from similar poems by Emmanuel, who I'm going to assume is Emmanuel of Rome. According to Rabbi Dr. Raymond Apple, Rabbi Emeritus of the Great Synagogue in Sydney, Australia, scholar Hartwig Hirschfeld was more specific in his statements about the song's authorship, saying that it was indeed Emmanuel of Rome who wrote it, either that or an unknown author by the name of Yechiel ben Rav Baruch, who left his name somewhere in the final line. But honestly, that seems like a stretch considering how much you have to play around with the line to get that name. 
Either way, be sure to read through the links below because they are chock full of great information. I've even included a link to Tsunze's book in German. Sorry, I couldn't find a translated version. Next up, the composer. Finally, we're getting to an easy part. The Ashkenazi melody that we'll be learning this week may have originally been composed during the 17th century or earlier, but Cantor Meyer Leon holds the credit for its composition. Leon had an interesting life in a variety of musical careers, from being the Chazan or Cantor at the Great Synagogue of London to an opera singer in the theatres of London and Dublin under the stage name Michael Leone. Apparently, his voice and music were so beloved across cultural and religious borders that non Jews would come to the Great Synagogue to hear him during Friday evening services, and that this melody for Yigdal ended up being used as a church hymn. It's all pretty fascinating, so as always, I encourage you to do some more reading via the links below. On to the lyrics. A quick reminder before I get into the lyrics, I'll be saying Elohim in the place of that version of Hashem's name. Feel free to say it normally if that's what you prefer. The lyrics are Yigdal Elohim Chai V'yishtabach Nimtza Ve'en Et El Metziuto Exalted is the living God and praised. He exists and his existence is not bound by time. Echad Ve'en Yachid Ki Yichudo Ne'lam V'gamein Sof Le'achduto he is one and there is no one like his oneness. His oneness is inscrutable and without end. En lo dimut haguf ve'eno guf, lo na'aroch elav kedushato. He has no semblance of a body and he is not a physical being and his holiness has no comparison. Kadmon l'chol davar asher nivra, rishon ve'en reshit l'reshito. He came before every being that was created, the first and nothing is more first than his firstness. Okay, so I got a little too literal there. Anyway, it continues on like this for quite a bit, so I'm going to skip through to the melody at this point. As always, you can follow along with the closed captions or read the translation in the description later on. Also, the Wikipedia entry has the complete lyrics in both English and Hebrew as well. Time for the melody. The modern version of this melody, which is the one we'll be singing in a second, is a slight variation of the Leon version that you'll see via the links in the description. So if you want to do it exactly as it's written instead of as it's sung now, check out the links and give it a try. The melody goes... En lo de mutaguf, the no goof, lona roche love, kid du chateau, Cadmon le holdavar, a shell nivra, Vishon ve en reshit le reshito, he no adon no lam le no tsar, Yoreg du la to, Marcuto, Chefane vuato, Netano, El lanche se gulato vetifalto, lo Kambi Israel ke Moshe od navi huma habit et munato Torat emet notan e amokel al yad nevi od ne man beto lo yachalifa kel ve lo yamidato li olamim le zulato sofevi od e ad sitareinu ma bit le sof davar ve kadmato gomeli i Chesed ke mi falo, no ten le rashara ke rishato, ishlak ve ket yamin mishichenu, liftot mecha ke ke hetishuato, metim yechaya kel berochasto, barucha de hiad shem tehilato, metim yechaya kel berochasto, barucha de hiad shem tehilato. That's it for this week's lesson. Be sure to come back later in the week for our sing-along to Yigdal. Also, if you're interested in seeing the Rambam's 13 Principles of Jewish Faith, they can easily be found with translations in the additional reading section following the weekday morning prayers in most Hebrew-English Sidurim. The Wikipedia entry on the principles is also quite impressive, and I've included a link to that in the description as well. If you're enjoying our videos, be sure to subscribe and share. We really appreciate the support. Remember to leave a comment below about the quick links I've provided earlier in today's lesson so you can say if you like them or not. And general comments with your thoughts or questions are great too. 
You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash jewishmusictoronto and on Tumblr at jewishmusicdatabase.tumblr.com. Thanks for watching and bye for now.